Hello traders, welcome back to Pitch Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. I really appreciate your support. So today in this video, as usual, let us look at the price action in gold US dollar currency first from the daily time frame to lower time frame and mark the current trend of the price action and present support and resistance levels. Before that, let us look at the economical events plan for today. Today is Monday, April 24th. And when we look at the economic events, we have medium impact news plan for euro related currency pairs at 1.30 pm. Let us begin with our gold analysis. I am in daily time frame now and I have already marked the previous resistance level which is between 2072 to 2040 and I have taken this resistance levels from the past price action where we have noticed the price action to respect this resistance level and to trend on the bearish side retracement. So for now, this resistance zone is still acting as a very strong resistance zone for the current price action also. And when we look at the overall price action, I have drawn the resistance line on the support line and it is trading within this bullish channel pattern. We have noticed it to trend on the bullish trend and to test this resistance line of the bullish channel pattern and again from this resistance line we have noticed the price action to trend on the bearish side retracement but still this support line of the bullish channel pattern is still acting as a support level for the current price action although the price action is in a bearish trend we have noticed this support line to be acting as a very strong support in the daily time frame once the price action breaks this support line, we can expect a further continuation of the bearish trend. But for now, the price action has not breached this support line. And we can notice that today's candle has opened same level where it has closed on Friday. And it is in a green color, so we can expect a price action to bounce back on the bullish side retracement. And if the bullish side retracement continues also, we can expect it to find resistance on the mid line of this bullish channel pattern because in the past also we have noticed the price action to respect this mid line and to bounce back on the very side retracement. So in daily time frame if the price action breaks this bullish channel pattern support line we can expect the very side retracement to continue and as long as the price action is trading within this bullish channel pattern we can expect the bullish trend to continue and it has tested this support line let us wait and see if the price action can bounce back from the support line on the bullish side retracement in daily time frame. So for now, this level of 1975 is acting as a strong support for the current price action and if the price action bounces back and retraces on the bullish side, the immediate resistance is going to be around 2015 and once this resistance level is breached, we can expect the price action to retest on the previous resistance zone between 2072 to 2040 and only when the price action breaks this resistance zone we can expect a further continuation of the bullish side retracement otherwise we can expect the price action to again bounce back from this resistance zone on the bearish side retracement and on the bearish side if the price action breaks this support level of 1975 next level of support is going to be around 1935 and 1884 let us look at the price action in 4 hours time frame I mean 4 hours time frame and when we look at the price action in 4 hours time frame again we have noticed the price action to respect this bullish channel pattern resistance line from the daily time frame and to continue trending on the bearish side retracement and after testing this support line of the bullish channel pattern we have noticed the price action to again bounce back on the bullish side retracement till this resistance level of 2015 is acting as a very strong resistance from the past price action and we have noticed the price action to again bounce back and to take support on the previous support level of 1974. So during this process we are noticing the price action to form a double bottom pattern. To so wait for the price action to break this net level of the double bottom pattern which is going to be around 2015 in order to get the confirmation on the bullish side retracement and next target is going to be the 2040 from the daily time frame. Or wait for the price action to bounce back from this resistance level of 2015 on the bearish side retracement and the 
dairy side target is going to be 1974 or the bullish channel pattern trend line or the support line and the current price action in 4 hours time frame is on a sideways momentum trading within the higher time frame resistance level of 2015 and support level of 1974 and within this sideways price action we are noticing the price action to bounce back on the bullish side retracement once the price action break this support level of 1974 we can expect a actual bearish trend to start in 4 hours time frame let us look at the price action in hourly time frame i am in hourly time frame and when we look at the current price action in hourly time frame i am drawing a resistance line connecting the previous highs and based on this resistance line we can notice the price action to be trading within this triangle pattern and presently it has tested the support line or the support level of 1974 and to bounce back on the bullish side retracement and as long as the price action is trading within this triangle pattern we can expect the consolidation to continue and once the price action breaks this resistance line from the hourly time frame we can expect the directional momentum to start on the bullish side and next level of resistance is going to be around 2050 and looking at the current trend of the price action it was on a bearish trend and we are noticing a consolidation so there are more chances for the price action to break on the bearish side once the price action breaks this support line of the bullish channel pattern from the daily time frame we can expect a very strong bearish trend to start in hourly time frame because it will be the continuation of the previous bearish trend in hourly time frame and once the price action gives a breakout from this support level of 1974 we can expect a bearish side trend to start and we can expect it to take support on the bearish trend line from the hourly time frame and it will be confirmation on the continuation of the bearish trend in hourly time frame also current trend of the price action in hourly time frame is on a bearish trend trading within a widening wedge pattern Let us mark the support and resistance levels. So the values within this green color boxes are the resistance levels and the support levels for the current price action in hourly time frame. Currently, the price action is trading between the support level of 1973 and resistance level of 1984. Once the price action breaks this resistance level, next level of resistance is going to be around 1996 and 2015. And on the bearish side, if the price action breaks this support level of 1973, next level of support is going to be around 1965, 1952, and 1934. Let us mark the support and resistance levels for 30 minutes time frame. I am in 30 minutes time frame. For 30 minutes time frame, I am again drawing a resistance line or a trend line connecting the highs of the past price action, and based on this resistance line. the current trend of the price action is still trading within this resistance line and it is consolidating within this support line from the bullish channel pattern of the daily time frame and the resistance line wait for the price action to give a directional breakout on the bullish side or on the bearish side in order to enter into the direction trade in 30 minutes time frame but and currently the price action is trading between the support level of 1983 and resistance level of 1987 if the price action bounces back on the bearish side breaking this previous support level of 1983 next level of support is going to be around 1979 1974 1967 and 1959 and on the bullish side if the price action breaks the previous resistance level of 1987 and continues on the bullish side retracement breaking this resistance line from the 30 minutes time frame also next level of resistance is going to be around 1991 1998 2008 and 2015 and the current trend of the price action in 30 minutes time frame is on a bearish side because it is trading within this bearish trend line or resistance line from the 30 minutes time frame so to summarize the current price action in 30 minutes time frame and also in hourly time frame we are noticing it to be trending on the bearish side and this support level of 1974 is acting as a very strong support for the current price action 
in all the time frames. Once the support level is breached, we can expect the bearish side retracement to continue in hourly time frame and also in the 30 minutes time frame. Whereas in the 4 hours time frame, we are noticing the price action to be trading on a sideways momentum. Once the price action breaks this resistance level of 2015, we can expect a bullish side trend to start. And on the other hand, if the price action breaks this support level of 1974, we can expect the bearish trend to continue in 4 hours time frame. That's all the analysis for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found this video to be useful, press that like button and share this video with your friends.